Good Monday morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. More of the same for us, unfortunately, it seems. Clouds holding on, temperatures steady right around 20 degrees. Now that's a good thing as temperatures go because that's pretty mild for this time of the morning in the middle of January. Typically we find ourselves in the single digits, wind chills below zero this time of the day. We're doing okay, just a little bit after 7.30 here on this Monday morning, back to school and back to work for us. We have a fresh coating of snow on the rooftop there from Assisi Heights. We had about a tenth of an inch, quarter inch to a couple spots overnight and uh, the rest of the day that does look pretty quiet. This uh, little wave of snow has moved on and now we're looking at a uh, tranquil Monday, but we will have at least a couple of uh, additional snow chances moving in for this week. The next one comes up tomorrow, and the weekend still looks like it may feature maybe several inches of snowfall. That is something we're to keep an eye on for Saturday night and Sunday down the road. But right now, uh, Monday looking kind of gray kind of quiet, but uh, there is a chance that we'll see at least a, a little bit of sunshine breaking through. I think this afternoon does offer the possibility of maybe a peek at the sun. Not a lot, uh, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that and keep our fingers crossed. 23, the expected high. The winds out of the northwest. Pretty tame breeze overall. Around 10 to 12, 13 miles per hour. That'll keep the wind chill in the teens for the most part. Sunset at 5.02. Yes, sunset today after 5 o'clock. Kind of exciting uh, when that happens. 20 degrees right now in Rochester. It feels like 12. Air pressure is rising between storm systems. 20 in Rochester, 17 in Mason City, 23 in Winona. From here, we'll basically stay the same. If we get a little sunshine in between these bands of clouds, uh, beyond this cold front, well, so much the better. They'll help us uh, boost temperatures a degree or two, but that's about it. Basically, steady temperatures throughout the day with that colder air rushing in behind that front. That's what we're facing for the rest of our Monday. Uh, today in future track, looking at cloud cover uh, in place. We go to the afternoon, and we start seeing maybe a little erosion in that cloud cover. Uh, tonight, into tomorrow, one wave of low pressure kind of grazes us to the west. Extra clouds will be in place with that. And then tomorrow, maybe a little sunshine to start the day, but the clouds thicken. Here's a little dose of snow that comes in for the afternoon with a little clipper system. Uh, Wednesday, increasing sunshine and more of a southwest breeze. That helps us warm up pretty quickly. Wednesday's highs will be well into the 30s. And as another cold front approaches to the northwest, maybe another very minor coating of snow Thursday afternoon. Uh, but ahead of that, looks like we'll at least touch 30 again on Thursday. So uh, 23, the expected high for our Monday today. Uh, this afternoon, Rochester, 22 in Austin, 26 in La Crosse. Mostly cloudy, uh, seasonably chilly, and a brisk northwest breeze around 10 or 12 miles per hour. And if we're lucky, maybe just a little bit of sunshine breaking through uh, by early afternoon. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Colder, though, 4 degrees with northwest winds around 10 miles per hour. And tomorrow afternoon, sun, uh, snow that is. Uh, we start the day with a little sunshine. Only 4 degrees to start, start the day tomorrow morning. Uh, 17, the expected high. Winds out of the west around 10 miles per hour. 17, and as much as an inch of snow in the afternoon. That snow develops around 11, 30, 12 o'clock, right around lunchtime, lasting until about 5 or 6 in the afternoon chance of minor coatings so that may impact your Tuesday evening commute. Uh, an outlook for the rest of the week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, a little breezy sunshine, Wednesday, mid-30s, uh, Thursday, chance of very light snow showers uh, as it stands right now, a trace amount, and it may not even be measurable there. And then Friday, frigid sunshine with only a high of 12 degrees, perhaps one of the coldest high temperatures of the entire season by Friday night and Saturday, maybe sub-zero with those temperatures. And then uh, Saturday evening, another storm system comes in. The snow develops around, I think, about 9 or 10 o'clock as it stands right now. And that lasts into the overnight hours and through Sunday. Uh, data is still pretty iffy right now, but as it stands, the possibility of three or more inches of snow, somewhere maybe perhaps that three to six inch uh, snowfall range, somewhere around there as it stands right now, but that's still ways off, just speculating because here we are on YouTube, that's that's what we do our, our on, on our website. Uh, but we can you know, talk a little bit about that. But right now, not as much heavy snow as we had last time. The temperatures will be a little bit colder too, so not the really wet, sloppy snow. That's a good thing, because that was not good to shovel. Um, those look like a pretty decent shot of snow, though, on Sunday. Not, uh, you know, not super heavy, but definitely a moderate amount. Anyway, looking at uh, a busier pattern in the coming days, a couple of doses of light snow, and then, of course, that weekend. And temperatures all over the place. We have some ups and some downs, so no shortage of things to talk about. Meantime, have a great Monday. We'll see you right back here for Tuesday.